So, DJI has suddenly pulled the plug on their FPV air unit, camera and V1 controller. It's official and it's on their website. And that's a massive shame. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Blow channel. I think we knew it was all too good to be true. DJI brought out their excellent digital FPV system to much outcry by FPV fanatics. They were taking over our hobby. And then they surprised us all by bringing out update after update and the system turned out to be truly fantastic. Recently, the F1 goggles and air units were like hen's teeth and you couldn't get them anywhere. And then the V2 goggles appeared, closely followed by their FPV drone goggles and V2 transmitter. And they said the V1 goggles were going to be discontinued. Some suspicions were aroused. And yesterday they finally showed their hand and announced they weren't going to be making the V1 controller, air unit and camera any longer. And that is a crying shame. But there is some good news. Cadex have said they'll still be making the Vista and the Nano Pro camera, which is very good. But remember, these are using a proprietary chipset that's supplied by DJI. So if they pull the plug on that, Cadex are screwed, and so are we. Now, I for one won't be buying the DJI FPV drone. It's got some really clever features, but I want them on my own terms, not part of a mighty expensive proprietary bundle that for me is neither one thing or the other. From all the videos that I've seen, it reminds me of my old Immersion RC Vortex 250 I had five years ago. It's quite big, slow and heavy, but the difference over the DJI drone is the Immersion RC Vortex 250 was built like a tank. Sure, if I'm given one, which is unlikely, I'll have a bit of fun with it, but it's just not me. Anyway, on to more practical things. What should you do if you've already got some air units? Well, first thing is, don't panic. But you need to make sure they're activated and got the latest firmware installed. Now, I've got two spare ones that I've got on the shelf, so I spent this morning making sure they're registered on my DJI account and they've got the latest firmware installed that matches my goals and controller. And that version is V1.00.06. Just connect power to the unit with some antennas connected, plug it into your computer and start the DJI FPV assistant and activate it if you need to and then update to V1.00.06. Now, if a new firmware is released, don't touch it with a barge pole. Keep well clear. You've got to remember, DJI isn't your friendly small company. It's a multi-million dollar organization who control the drone market. And all they really care about are their balance sheets. I'm not saying they'll do anything dodgy, but I'd recommend sticking with a firmware version that you trust. After all, they've got no real incentive to make any changes technically now, so treat any new releases to the firmware with a bit of caution. And take care of your air units. And keep all the boxes. They're going to be an investment in the future, I'm pretty sure of it. And one last thing. Be cautious of any statement that you hear from DJI in the short term. They got a bit of habit of saying things and providing pretty mixed messages. I'm just going to stop you there. I've just checked the DJI website and that notice has gone. So it just goes to show you can't trust what DJI or their distributors are saying at the moment because they haven't got their story straight. Anyway, get back to it. Now, this looks like the end of a very short era, but you never know what's going to happen after all. They did start making the Phantom 4 Pro V2 again after it was announced that it was discontinued. If the market's there, they'll do it. Although, I'm not holding my breath. With some sadness, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content.
I'll see you next time.